this is a this is a goat YouTube channel now. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Steph, and along with my husband Pete and our three-year-old son Hayes. <laughs> We've been traveling for about 15 months. Now we're traveling throughout India. And in our first three videos here, we've only shown you cities. So today, we wanted to show you what $43.50 will get you in rural Rajasthan. Is that where we're staying? That's home for the next couple of nights. Who goes there? <laughs> no, no, okay. Namaste! Welcome to Chandalauga! We're about 40 kilometers away from Jodhpur in an ancestral home built in the 18th century. There are 20 rooms. We're the only ones here right now. This is what used to be the family's main living quarters, but today is where we gather for breakfast. You can't beat fresh orange juice in that one. Am I right? Life's tough. I haven't been upstairs yet, so let's go and have a look. Evidently, you can get a massage if you want one. Could you imagine living somewhere like this? Here's where we've been grinding our coffee in the morning. This is where we've been milling our flour. Gyro! In the middle of the property, you've got this big, beautiful lawn, tons of fresh flowers. Hayes's favorite part. A lovely German shepherd named... Named? What's his name? Who's that dog? Who's that? Who's that dog? His name's Sheriff. And then we're actually staying over here in the old horse stables. Are you a horse? No, I'm a donkey. You're a donkey? Yeah. Should we go show them our room? The dog? No, the people behind the camera. The people. Look at that light on the uh, ground from the windows. Ah! Come have a look at these rooms. These rooms are so good. Uh, got this amazing living space here. These marble floors, apparently they were done by some people from Jodhpur, but so beautiful. As well as all the carpentry. The carpentry has been done by people here in the village of Chandala. All right, got this beautiful dresser, mirror. So check yourself out, looking good. Little seating arrangement here. Now, these arch, I mean, look at this stonework. Still got some of the old stable sort of stuff here. I guess that was for doors, I don't know. And now, the bedroom, beautiful, very, very comfortable beds. Not too firm, not too soft, beautiful bedding, and just a beautiful setting. Oh, and the bathroom. Huge bathroom, and hot water is provided by solar power. Very cool. I love these uh, windows out into kind of like a deserty situation. A bit. You can also hear the barracks all the time. And then the best part is there's this amazing pool right here. I'm only doing that once because it's freezing. I dare you to jump in. I didn't think you were really going to do that. Oh. It's so cold. <laughs> so that's the tour. Maybe we haven't completely sold you and you're wondering why you would come to rural Rajasthan. Which is a valid question. I think if you were on like a shorter trip in India, it might be harder to squeeze something in like this, but we would really encourage it. It's been really great for us. We're lucky to have a lot of time and have already traveled a lot of India. And we have found that particularly on this trip, which is Hayes' first time to India, it's good to balance some of the crazy bustling cities with this kind of super low key, relaxing stay. But I think you could also fit this in even if your trip was short. You could come into Jodhpur, do a whole day of sightseeing, and then come somewhere like this for sunset and a really relaxing evening. And the other cool thing is, if you come somewhere like here, you get to see village life in India, which is really special and unique. 
We went on a walk yesterday in the local village and that's actually what we're about to do now. So we'll take you along and show you some of what happens here. Got a mouthful of dates. That's a village cow. Oh, what? That's not the only one that's lived. To start with, right next door to the property, the owner also operates a little craft collective employing local women from the village and there's all sorts of little goodies to buy. This is my weakness. Pouches, toiletry bags, little cases for knickknacks. I mean, don't you just need like all of these? That was Sundaram Craft Village. It's right there. The hotel is right there. Let's walk around Chandalau. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What's your name? Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, one more time. One. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three, go! Good job. Nice to meet you. So that was essentially our little village loop. We came after school today, so the kids swarmed Hayes. But everybody in this village is super friendly. Hayes had a great time. Pete pretended to talk about cricket. Hayes had some races. We stopped for a snack. It's just, it's really relaxing here. Do you like to live in a village like this? Yes. Where the queen's and the king. Long and tiny. Um, is it gin and tonic time? Wait. It's always gin and tonic time. What time is it? 4.30. Basically 5 o'clock. It's so gin and tonic. Two tonic and ice. Thank you, sir. Welcome. <laughs> ice is always coming, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome. Yes. I fear this video is becoming very boring, but hopefully it conveys just how relaxing our time here has been. So cocktail hour is officially over and we're preparing for dinner, which is out here by the pool with a fire. It's just, it's so lovely. This is the kind of place, another reason. Whoa! What's going on? Uh, I scared you. You scared me. Another reason this would be a great place to come, it's the kind of place that you would just like love to be with like a group, like a tour group or a group of friends or a wedding. We were actually chatting with Pride Man, the owner last night, wondering if he gets like a lot of wedding guests here and he said he didn't, which is so funny because like from like a Western American English point of view, 23 rooms, like all the space, it's like a great wedding venue, but Indian weddings are so huge that perhaps this place isn't big enough. Anyway, it's the kind of place that would be perfect to be surrounded with friends and family. Ooh! This is what they used to use for cooking. Really? The meals. You don't know that. I do. I asked the guys. Did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they said these are from like a very long time ago. This food is really, really good. Not only do you get one dish, you get about six. And they're all really solid. Okay, it's our last morning in Chandalau, although we're not in Chandalau any longer. Long story, but a friend of a friend, uh, our friend Asim, who actually has a YouTube channel with like over half a million subscribers, all about goats. I'll put that somewhere. Um, we worked together in Mumbai, and when he heard we were in Chandalau, he said, I have a friend in a village very nearby you should visit. So this is friend Barkat has taken us to his home to see his goats and then I think we're gonna also walk to his goat farm where there's over 200 goats. So just like a little added on goat adventure after our wonderful stay in Chandelau that you've just seen. This is all of his farm as well. It's huge. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure what the crop is that he's growing. Yeah. Cumin. Cumin. It's okay. <laughs> this is yeah. My um my mum told me to never really pick berries that you don't really know or eat berries that you don't really know what they are, but here we go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Soup. Yummy. Tastes like something. I know. That's what I was, like a plum or something. It's really sweet. Yeah, it tastes more like a like a stone fruit than a yeah. berry. All right, this is how awesome India is. One minute you're having breakfast in a the beautiful Chandelo Gar, and then you're at a goat farm. I mean, it's just India. It's amazing. Goat farm. What time is it? It's goat time. Oh, uh, it is 10.05. 10.05. How many ice creams do you think Ace has had <laughs> at 10.05? On the ride, on the 10 minute ride over here, they bought us two ice creams. Well, one ice cream, one coffee. How's your coffee? Good. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay, but spit it out. He's just dropped it on the ground and then put it back in his mouth. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why did she do that? Not ever expect to have a foray into the uh, goat YouTube. But thanks, Asim. <laughs> I'm not ready for goat YouTube. It's cuddly. Do you want to hold it, Hazy? You yeah. want to hold it? <laughs> Put your arms out like that. No, like this. Straight out. Straight out. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Boy, guys! Try again. Yeah, good job. Oh, my God. Right, this is the first ever goat. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mommy, I want to talk again. You want to hold it again? <laughs> that goat was not impressed with my little uh, time lapse, so I decided to come and take the camera. <laughs> hey, Cam! Yeah. Hey, Cam! Ooh, crap! Hayes did not know what he was doing this morning, and he got to visit a home, which is his favorite, hang out with a kid and a baby which are his favorites, and then visit a goat farm. I feel like a tantrum is gonna come on because it's time to leave. But this has been so cool. Again, this is Bark Out by Goat Farm. Bark Out is lovely, like prime example of wonderful, wonderful Indian hospitality that we love. And Asim for connecting us is awesome. Check out his channel, Asim Shake. And perhaps there'll be some more goat content in the future, I don't know. Did you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Take so care. Much. That was such a lovely experience. But we are running late and we need to pack. So thank you for watching. And if you thought this place was cool, wait till you see the next place we're staying at. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Subscribe, like, comment, 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 comment